Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the game where I do shady things for profit. Today, we are back out in American Theft 80s. And if you missed the last episode, we met good old Raymond here. He is a car dealer, uh, aka I sell him stolen cars. And I guess his son is having issues now. We got to go talk to him at VHS Haven. So yeah, we're meeting all the weird individuals in this town now. I'm actually excited to be working with more people. It's nice to see how advanced this game is compared to something like Thief Simulator, where it was just home invasions. Um, we got into car theft, and uh, I'm curious to see what VHS Haven is going to give us so yeah we'll head over there now and see if we can get another job to do all right hello good sir can i help you i'm supposed to be helping you oh it's you my father seems to be under the impression you can help advance my agenda as you know there is a war between formats vhs and betamax or as i like to call it beta unfortunately the beta boys are craftier than expected sales are down well i am from the future and you actually do win but i'll help you out anyways but i'm not a beta boy i'm a vhs man i shot oh the elk this it's guy. time to show those beta boys how we do things in shady woods i need you to go to their base of operations in the basement of one of their parents warehouses and break their counterfeit betamax manufactory okay i enjoy breaking stuff <laughs> goodbye all right, welcome to the manufacturing district. Finally, we're away from homes and we can actually rob some uh, places of business now. Um, so I'm supposed to do a camera, mark the camera in 502. So we are getting into higher technology. We have to deal with surveillance now. Okay, so 502, I'm already seeing one camera. Do we just middle click like thief sim? No, how am I supposed to mark them? Oh, you just right click them, okay. All right, so there's spikes all across the fence. Actually, can I climb this? Really? I can't climb this? I thought for sure that would be it. Um, There is a low point on the fence at the back. I'm wondering if I should bring my car around. I'm assuming I could open up the front gate. Actually, I don't think I can. So yeah, maybe I am supposed to jump in with my car. Yeah, this isn't suspicious at all. Just a, you know, an old car going through the woods here um, and crashing into things evidently. All right, let's just see if I can get up here. The fun thing is, I don't know how the hell I'm going to get out if I do do it this way. I don't think... I can I jump on my car? There we go. I had to look at my car to jump in. Yeah, probably not the way you want to do that. Honestly, probably going to get caught here, but that's okay. I want to get some intel right now. All right, I don't see anybody inside, actually. This isn't too bad. Um, not going to be able to get in that way. I did see that there's crates all around. We also have a staircase here. So I can climb up this. Right <gasps> what? Where the hell? Oh, oh my God. Where the hell did you come from? Stop. Is he? Okay, he actually did stop. Okay, sick. Is there anywhere where, where I can hide in here? And there's a down. Ah, Jesus Christ. Wait, you're not supposed to be here. Why do you look like the guy I'm working with? <laughs> Are you twins? Oh my All God. Right. All right. Well, I don't know where that security guard was, but let's try again. Oh, I'm so daft sometimes. Okay, well, this is obviously the way to get in. Um, did not... How did I not see the giant crate at the front? Now, we do have the camera we gotta worry about, though. All right, I think we're okay. Just gotta wait for the security guard. He's not here. Perfect. Um, god damn it. Can't wait to get that auto lock pick. They're... I, I, that would make my life so much easier. I wonder if I can steal that car. All right, so the gate controls are here. Huh. Well, that's an easy way to get in, I guess. Use unlock kit. Oh my god, I can steal it. All right, well, we'll come back. I'm assuming the car guy is going to want this thing, so let's just get this out of here and uh, come back and steal some more. Oh, sorry about that, bud. All right, he does have specific cars he wants. I'm hoping this is one of them. Howdy, young man. Hi. That is one of them. <laughs> oh, I got it. Deliver all. Look at that, 600 bucks right there. That really isn't worth it, but hey, that's probably my biggest payday for a single item yet. Uh, now I just need to call the tow truck over and uh, grab my car. I, I love how somebody closed the gate, but isn't alarmed at all that their uh, fancy car is gone. Thanks for not calling the cops. Let's try this again. All right, so we know that the security guard's on the other side, so I like to stay as far away from there as possible. I think... I don't like this. I can't see how far the cameras can see. I'm so used to Thief Simulator. 
Um, it's, it's kind of great, though. You shouldn't be able to see how much a camera can see. Uh, I don't think I can go underneath it, but I can go around this way. I'm hoping there's some sort of access point over here. I think I gotta go up those stairs, so I might need to go back to the front. I just want to take a look through the back again. Oh, yeah, okay, so he's actually in the back right now, so this is a good time to, uh, go to the other side of the front. That being said, I don't know if there's one or two security guards. Oh, God, I don't know. wonder if I can hide by this fence. This is gonna be close. Why can I not see how far you're looking? I don't know if I should go underneath it or this way. Oh my god, I can't believe that actually worked. Okay. So as long as there isn't a security guard here, we should be able to get to the stairs. Alright, we know that there's one of the nerdy guys in here, but he's down in the basement. I think we are clear now to do some damage. Hopefully I can steal some stuff too. Ooh. Use electrician tools. Oh, I don't got those yet. I want to cut the power out. There's so many cool tools. VCR remote. Pricey. Okay. VCR remotes are pricey? Why would you want a remote without the VCR? Oh, headphones are requests. We'll take that. Got to get that reputation. Um, it is really nice to see how much these things are worth so I can be more selective. Oh, I didn't want it to have to go to this. Oh, hello. Through the window. Are you looking in here? Please don't be looking. Okay, I'm just going to sneak around still. I don't think he can see through windows. Okay, yep. He's still down there. Now, this is the part I'm scared about. I don't know where this guy is. And the last time I opened it, he was right there. I think I should be able to peek through, right? Okay, yep. What the hell that... I just heard a door. All right, let's just get in. Uh, why is this so creepy? Okay, is, is this them? Action list. Use hammer. Break it! Break it! Make lots of noise! <laughs> I don't know where this guy is. I'm scared. I swear to God, I hear somebody above me. And I'm very scared about that. Okay, so this is a different door. Is he in here? Hello? Oh, no, this is the way out. I'm so easily lost. All right, the only thing we probably have here is the TV. Don't really want that, so we're gonna stash and grab upstairs and get the hell out of here before I get caught. I'm just very worried the security guard came inside. Because I did hear a door. All right, so we'll grab a bunch of items, fill our inventory here. I don't really care how much these are worth. Anything is good. That's a request. I don't know how I missed that before. That's a little heavy. I know we had calculators and everything. The, the lighter, the better, obviously. All right, I don't think there's any more light items. So let's just take these, because I feel like these might be pricey. Um, I might just take one, though. Depends if I can drop this off the roof or not. Because I don't want to have to sneak back in here. It's a pain in the butt. Goodbye. Ah, that thing's totally fine. Guard to warehouse. I just saw that on my screen. Does that mean he's going inside? Oh, yeah, he's going inside. You know what? I think we'll leave the other one. Goodbye. This is the scariest part. Didn't see me before. What the frick? What the frick? I knew it was going to happen. Oh, I might be able to get away. I might be able to get away. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. How are cops so fast in this town? This is the 80s. I thought every cop was crooked then. Uh, okay, I can get through over here. Oh, they actually just left me alone. I, I, I guess the cops are crooked in this town. Oh, uh, I just came back to see uh, if I could grab it. The friggin' nerd! The invisible nerd came out and put it away, clearly. All right, well, I guess we're not getting, getting any big ticket items, but at least we got the uh, job done. All right, Hunter, your beta issues are fixed. Can what now? I help you? You fought with honor. Gondor would be oh proud. But alas, I have more. My clientele do not always return their tapes in a timely fashion. I'll give you the bounty. Are you going to really rob somebody because of a VHS tape? Literally wants me to rob VHS tapes back. Okay. Interesting. Uh, payphone near the arcade. Well, I know where that is. I guess we're meeting somebody else, possibly. So we have all these jobs we can do. I'd rather work my way down the storyline, because this is how I'm going to unlock new gadgets. So where's... Okay, the arcade's right over here. Before I go there, I may as well empty my inventory. Hello, good sirs. VCR remote? $286? I don't think it told me it was that much. Jesus. All right, I'll buy some lockpicks then. Some expensive lockpicks. <laughs> Let's repair my items, too. Now, I know the headphones are for a job or a bounty. Um, what else was for a bounty? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Uh, we'll just keep the headphones. All right. And this must be the payphone. I mean, it's right by the arcade. Hello? Check. 
No, I don't want to save. You told me to go to the payphone. Pick up the phone near the arcade. What? Is there another phone or something? Oh, not the payphone legit beside the arcade. The payphone on the street. You might want to, you know, be more informative. Mind you, it is on the map, so I should probably just look, you know? Anyways, let's see what's going on. Looks like the situation has gone international. And I don't just mean the mayor's trips to Thailand. One Ew. Mr. Gruber is in town. And you two know someone in common. Hunter. I just work for that guy. I'd wager if you build up a reputation, he'll want you on his payroll. Go make a name for yourself. Then have a chat with Hunter. I think he'll set you up. All right, I guess we got to earn trusted reputation with Raymond and son. So we got to do generic jobs. I did actually see... I want to go talk to this guy because I was able to talk to him. Uh, by Raymond, there's a weird mechanic or something. I think he had a job, if I remember correctly. Hello, shady individual. Mechanic Bob, that's right. Do you need a hand? Got a little job for you. That time machine he had you bring in... The DeLorean, obviously. Needs some kind of rare import tires. Now, I know a guy who's got them on lot 400, but he won't sell because he thinks they'll go up in value. Let's get them and put them to good use. That sounds like a fun job. Let's try that. All right, so yeah, this is where I stole the DeLorean. Wait. No, 400. This is 401. I don't want to be in 401. I want to be in 400. Is this, is this 400? Whatever, I'll, I'll just go in here. <laughs> All right. Looks like it's just storage. I don't know if this is... I think it's just... Oh, wait, there's a tire here. Did I actually find it? Did I actually find the tires? This is going to be the easiest job ever. How does that work out? <laughs> I just randomly went in a shed. Mind you, I got to carry these tires illegally across the road. I might want to bring my car back here and just put them in there. Oh, there's a $102 bracelet here. Sure. Is there any more jewelry? Oh, $62 of cash. That's good. This is, this is the easiest thief job I've ever had. Okay, there we go. That went way too smoothly. Perfect. Let's deliver these to good old mechanic Bob. Not sure how much reputation this is, but hopefully it's enough. Bob, here's your stupid tire. We'll be needing these. Raymond drives that thing like he thinks it'll take him to the 50s. Uh, how much should I get there? 15. Okay, so I still need to get 20. Well, 19. So essentially, I need two cars. I feel like the cars are going to be easier than the VHS tapes. VHS tapes are going to be hard to find. Cars can't really hide too well. So, uh, yeah. This can't be one of them. This would be way too easy. Ooh. Uh. Okay. Let's just see what happens here. This might actually be one of them. This is going too well. There we go. Literally in broad daylight. There's nobody around. That was freaking perfect. God, car theft is so freaking easy. Look at that. I hope this is one of them. I did track it, and it's not, like, doing anything for me. Let's just see if it's on his list. It is! <laughs> That's another easy $600. Dude, car theft is the best. <laughs> oh, well, I seem to have stumbled at the fancy part of town. This is what I look forward to. We got some sort of mansion here. <gasps> I don't think I'm going to be able to get in yet. Yeah, I kind of need a key for that. But yeah, I, that's what I love about this game. You start off with the most basic of uh, robberies. And then you go into freaking mansions. Uh, anyways, I'm still looking for one more car. That's all I need. They're, they're, they're hard to find, though. I only have two left that I can uh, steal. Is this van one of them? Isn't this my buddy's van? I'm pretty sure it's actually one of them. Anyways, I was coming here just to sell my headphones for the uh, reputation. So we'll deliver that. There we go. An extra 88 bucks. And I guess that worked out really well, because I guess I'm stealing my buddy's uh, van or whoever the hell this is. And don't mind me, pedestrians walking down the road. I'm just doing legal things. Nothing illegal at all. There we go. Dude, cars are too easy. Cars are the easiest thing to steal in this game. Delivered. There we go. We just got one left. Cheapo taxi. Looks like it's in some sort of building as well. Uh, all right. So that's everything. We got to talk to Hunter now. Hello, Hunter. What do I do now? Sir, you will get no action from me. Ew. But I know someone who might have a use for you. One of my illustrious clientele has in fact heard of you. I hesitate to connect you, given that it may distract you from our business. I take VHS very seriously. But the time is right. Go to the Double Door Hotel and look for Mr. Gruber. He's the man you want. All right, Mr. Gruber, I'm coming for you. Is there a Mr. Gruber here? This looks like a fancy place. 
Mr. Jack, I see you've convinced my computer scientists to lead you to me. I expected this and welcome it. Are you a robot? I have work that no ordinary criminal can perform. I would need an undercover agent like yourself. No way, sir. I'm just a good goddamn thief. Is that what your handler told you to say? I asked I like rhetorically, of course. I've already read the transcripts. The situation is this. We happen to have a common enemy. You do a few jobs for me, and you'll have your little mare's ass on a platter. I believe you know how to use one of these? Oh yeah, floppy disk? Our enemies keep something of importance in a local warehouse. Industrial Street 503. Copy their records to this compact disk. And bring them to me. All right, time to do some 80s file stealing. Talk about uh, exciting. Finally, I'm able to get the auto lock pick. I've been waiting for this tool for so long. I hope I have enough money. Do you have it? I don't even know who sells it. Oh, I can buy floppy disks from you too. And the auto lock pick. All right, well, we'll buy two of those because I'm kind of rich now. I need a floppy disk, I'm assuming, for what I'm doing next. I'll sell you that bracelet and my extra headphones. And let's fill up on lockpicks as well. Uh, maybe I should buy two just in case. I mean, I have money. We may as well spend it. All right, so this must be the auto lockpick door. So do I just... What do I do? Oh, keep the lockpick in the middle of the lock. Hold. Oh, so you're just you're just destroying the lock. Oh, this is actually cool because it bends. Oh, there we go. And that is a legit lockpicking tool. I love this game for its tools. Okay, guys, I think we'll wrap up this one here, though. Uh, we did quite a bit today. It actually was probably my most successful episode yet. I don't think... Did, did I get caught at all? I, I did get caught at the start once. But I'm improving. I'm becoming a better thief. Uh, in the next episode, we'll be working with uh, Fancy McGee over there and uh, getting the test files on this floppy. So, yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.